Hi everyone, my name is Bill Laboon. I'm with the Web3 Foundation here in Zug, Switzerland. And in this video, I will show you how to contribute to crowd loans using the Polkadot.js apps UI. Before we start, just a few warnings. First, due to the existential deposit on the Polkadot relay chain, if you leave less than one dot in your account that you are using for crowd loans, the rest of the dot in that account will be reaped. So if you have five and a half dot and you only use five dot to contribute to the crowd loan, that last half dot will be uh, deleted, essentially. It will be uh, reaped, as we say, uh, from the chain. So either make sure that you're using all of the dot uh, in your account or that you leave at least one dot in the account. Second, I recommend that you review the individual crowd loans and how they work before contributing to them. Some you will not be able to contribute through using Polkadot.js, especially those that use a different address format than other substrate-based chains. So for these, you will have to go uh, through the individual parachain site and not just do it directly through Polkadot.js. So, if you point your browser to polkadot.js.org slash apps, uh, the explorer part will get filled in for you automatically. Uh, and this will show you what is happening on the network. Uh, polkadot.js apps is a way for you to interact uh, with, with the network. And we can see here there have been some recent events, including some crowd loan contributions. So let's see how to do this. First, go to network parachains. This will show you the current parachains that are connected to the network, specifically just shell right now, uh, and parathreads, that is potential parachains that have registered uh, to connect. If you click on parathreads, you can see so far there have been uh, two that have already connected and one that is onboarding. Uh, at the moment, there are no auctions taking place. Uh, but now, what this video is about, let's look at crowd loans. So here, we can see all of the crowd loans that are available on Polkadot at the moment. We can see some information about them. How much has been raised altogether? So far, 1.71 uh, million DOT. Uh, and the cap for all of them, which is 50 million DOT. Uh, note this, this M is for million, this capital M. Uh, we can see that there is only one crowd loan currently running. So I just want to say I'm not endorsing this particular crowd loan. It's just it's the only one that's running. So that's the one we'll contribute to. You can see here it's parachain ID, parathread ID, the team that's behind it. It's active. That means it is currently accepting uh, funds. The leases uh, on uh, the Polkadot relay chain that it is applying for. Uh, for when it runs its auction, how much it's raised. Uh, so 1.7183 million out of 50 million cap, which is 3.43%. And if you haven't contributed yet to this crowd loan, you won't see uh, my contributions there. Uh, for practice, I have already done one, so you can see that I have contributed once. To contribute, click on the contribute button. So you'll see you're contributing from the account. I'm contributing from my account bill. Uh, this is the minimum amount allowed, five dot. Uh, if you try to contribute less than that, uh, the user interface won't let you. And how much is remaining until the cap? So we can see here it is 48.28 million uh, dot uh, remaining. So in order to contribute, I'm going to press the contribute button. Now, this assumes, by the way, that you have accounts on Polkadot.js apps. If you don't have an account on here, please you know, view uh, some of my other videos or the Polkadot Wiki to learn how to make accounts on uh, Polkadot.js apps. So if I click Contribute, uh, you will notice I, it will tell me what I am going to do in this uh, screen. So what it's saying here is I'm sending the transaction crowdloan.contribute. Uh, this is very important because when you contribute to a crowd loan, you are guaranteed to get your dot back either when 
the potential parachain fails to win an auction or a set of auctions, and or when the lease is over for that parachain, you will get your dot back. If you send dot, if you transfer dot, then there is no guarantee. It is up to the user that you sent them to to send it back. And so uh, when you contribute to crowd loans, you want to make sure that you're using the crowd loan contribute extrinsic. If you do it through Polkadot.js uh, apps, then this should uh, always occur. Uh, I'm applying, there are some very small amount of fees, 12.6 uh, milladot that's applied. And I'm going to sign and submit with my Polkadot.js extension. So you may have a different way of signing messages. Uh, it may not be the Polkadot.js extension. You may be using Parity Signer or something different, but it's the same basic idea. So here uh, I'm going to enter my password. I will take this off the screen so other people don't see it. And I've signed the message. You can see it is now being broadcast to the network. And we see the nice green success message that this crowd loan contribute is in the block. So now uh, we can see I had already contributed five dot, uh, but now it shows that I have contributed 10 dot uh, from the second uh, contribution that I've done. So you can always go back and uh, contribute more uh, to a crowd loan, but it is important to remember that you cannot take back your contribution to a crowd loan. The only way that you will get that dot back is again, either if the crowd loan goes through, uh, uh, does not win an auction, uh, or once the if they do win an auction, once the lease is over, and this lease can be up to two years uh, on Polkadot. And so it is important before you contribute to make sure that that is what you want to do and that you want to have your dot uh, locked up for that amount of time. Thank you very much. Uh, I hope this helped you understand how to contribute uh, to crowd loans on Polkadot.